before before uh, we we move on, let me just say a couple of things. I totally forgot. My apologies to Rebish Consulting to mention that we have a sentiment and analysis platform working. So all the all, um, all of you guys that are on Twitter, the, uh, hashtag Insights2019, comment, uh, suggest, uh, say beautiful words about the event, whatever. Uh, we'll do some analytics on, on, on top of the results, so we'll be safe. But seriously, hashtag uh, Insights2019, it's somehow hidden down there. But uh, do get on it, if, if you will, because it's definitely interesting also for us to measure what we are delivering. Uh, and next year, we'll consider that. Second point, in your program, you have Erika Filalegara as our end uh, keynote speaker for this uh, first uh, session of the morning. Uh, she asked me to share a line with you. Tell your guests that successful AI and cybersecurity implementations could have minimized the visa application issues. She was flying from Manila yesterday. Uh, we had all flights, everything reserved. Uh, not really paid for yet, but reserved all the bookings, <laughs> etc. Uh, but unfortunately, she was not able to get a visa from Manila due to just administrative issues there, I guess. She was in touch with us. We were in touch with the embassy, etc. So she was very sorry, and so are we, that she did not make it. I'll, uh, still, she's got a, uh, she did send us a very good presentation with some very interesting contents, which we'll be sharing with you all. Um, I am sorry she didn't make it. You take it from here, and then I'll join you in a bit. Yeah. Thank you. OK. So I'm going to share some insights we get from a survey we did. Um, thank you, Altra, for your job. You did a very good job. Um, first, I, I want to uh, share with you this disclaimer. Most of you already know this sentence. Uh, but it's, it's true, and I know we have a lot of uh, statistic uh, experts here. Uh, so if you, if you want, you can then discuss some of uh, the conclusions you have. And I will t give you some time to, uh, to look to the, the, the study. One thing I want to mention is that we uh, had 215 uh, answers. Uh, and of course, we would like to have more data. So I invite you to uh, answer our survey. It's available on our website. And then, of course, I will, we will uh, share the results uh, with all of you. So we have 43 undergraduate students, so, so you can have a, an idea. 42 data scientists and 127 other professionals. And one thing we can see is that undergraduate is most of them, 70%, uh, are willing to have an additional training in data science, uh, not only in exact sciences, economics, management, finance, IT, uh, and so on, but which is interesting, even in social and human sciences, 33% are uh, willing to, have a st uh, to, to study in, in data science. Another interesting thing is that 60% of the undergraduate uh, want to proceed uh, pursue, that want to pursue a data science career want to do it in uh, consulting or an IT. Uh, so having a more uh, transversal um, experience, but you have others in healthcare, banking, agriculture, and uh, insurance and retail. In terms of years uh, of experience, uh, I think we have a balanced uh, set with uh, of almost half of the people with more than five years uh, of experience, then uh, the others are spread in different levels of, of experience. In terms of data science profiles, um, we can see 52%, uh, so most of them have uh, a master degree. And 
if we had 26, let me see if this works. Yeah, 26 and 31, so 57 uh, percent earns uh, something between 1,000 and 2,000 euros, something you can see uh, on the study also. And the majority, not majority, but the, uh, most of the, the, the people are working in consulting, 38 percent. Then you have 12 percent in teaching, banking, retailing, other private services, healthcare, uh, other public services, IT, and so on. And this is really interesting. Uh, most of the data scientists, so 93%, are very satisfied or satisfied with, with their job, uh, which is consistent with uh, 1.5 from 1 to 5. Uh, so for those who answer if they are willing to leave uh, this job in, in, in the next 12 months, and for those that are not fully satisfied, 7%, the reasons for their dissatisfaction uh, are low impact, non-relevant relevant projects, and career stagnation. This one is interesting for those who are uh, getting difficulties on, 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 on hiring data scientists. Data scientists uh, are looking more for technical challenges and project challenges. You can see it uh, as other professionals. Those give more importance uh, to the project challenge. Uh, one thing, uh, one insight that it's interesting for me and it was actually a surprise was the company notoriety where uh, even for other professionals for me, I think it's too low, but none of the data scientists uh, give any uh, importance to, to that. So um, that's something we can uh, get from here also. Last year, I, I, I've shown this, this slide, and I think it's, uh, it will be eternal. It's one of my favorite quotes uh, of Einstein. Um, and in fact, asking the right questions, it's something that it's crucial on data science. And we can see it also from the answers we get for this, um, um, this topic. So the critical success factors in project development um, are not on problem definition, technical data science, competencies, quality, data existence, business awareness, model, uh, and, and choosing the problem uh, approach, suitable timings, technology infrastructure, sponsorship, top management support, working methodology, um, and on top, with not a big difference, but it's problem definition. And I, th I think you all know and understand that it's really crucial if you don't ask the right questions, the, the, probably the, the answers will be random um, and that will be a, a problem. Also, I mentioned this gap between business leaders and data scientists, where most of the business leaders doesn't know the full potential of data science and most of the data scientists doesn't know much about business or strategy. Um, actually, in the last year, I've seen a big improvement on this. Uh, perhaps not on the top management level, but in other levels on the organization. Uh, people uh, that work in other areas are more aware and uh, more capable of participating in, in uh, data science projects. And I think we can see it here at a certain point where the answers are quite aligned between data scientists and other professionals. Um, so the, the, the main challenges uh, today in a data science project for those who answer to our survey are data inconsistency and insufficiency, technology maturity, technical skills, HR constraints, project operational, uh, yeah, difficult to read, and return on investment uncertainty.
But as you can see, uh, they are pretty aligned. Sometimes I'm pointing, but it's, it's white and it's difficult to see, just, <laughs> but uh, anyway. Now this one, it's interesting, um, and I, it's not a big surprise. Um, most of the data scientists and are more dedicated in, uh, on jobs work, uh, uh, related to collecting and organizing data, and I've done that, so it's, it's not the, the most interesting uh, stuff they, they can do. So uh, actually, this difference between 3.3 and 3.9, I was expecting to be uh, bigger. Um, but anyway, perhaps they would. They had. They were. They had. Uh, they are. They were very conservative on, on their answers, but uh, it's 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 it was expected to to, to be this. <clears throat> In terms of relevant skills for data scientists, uh, machine learning and deep learning uh, has business awareness comes on the on the top for both data scientists and uh, for other professionals. Uh, another int interesting uh, insight that we can get from here is that when I, I have to read the, the rest so you can have an idea, database construction and manipulation, programming, quantitative analysis, reporting and visualization, results, uh, communicating and storytelling, data science, development support, tools domain, text analytics, uh, computer vision, image processing, natural language processing, um, creativity and uh, intuition, intuition and creativity and project management. If you can see the, the, the first one, data scientists uh, gave more importance to programming and quantitative analysis, uh, other professionals to other type of skills which is comprehensive, but you can see they give 7% of importance to intuition and creativity, data science is only two, but then they say that programming and quantitative analysis have more or less the same importance than uh, creativity, uh, which is not the opinion of uh, data scientists. So we can see uh, this um, mismatch between demand level and adoption level with uh, 3.9 and 3.2. Uh, and we can see that we have room for, imp for improvement on the maturity level in terms of adoption and maturity levels. And if we look to the, uh, in terms of the ad adoption, IT, customer care, marketing and product development are the ones uh, the areas that are uh, being uh, that the companies are investing more than you have operations, sales, management, finance, HR, and supply chain, and with different uh, evaluations from data scientists and other professionals. And the last 12 months, uh, most of the projects have been. Uh, related to process, of, uh, process optimization and research and development, and then sales and marketing and customer experience come uh, as uh, as the main uh, other main focus uh, in the last 12 months. Every, every, everyone knows this uh, guy or this Siri. Uh, I don't, want, I don't mean to be a spoiler, I don't know if ever, everyone see the third season, but I have to share uh, a piece of it so I can context the next slide. Exteriores. 
inteligencia, en qué se gastan los fondos reservados, las cloacas del Estado. Todo lo que el sistema no puede permitir que se sepa para no caerse por el sumidero en que se esconden sus propios excrementos. ¡Detenemos el ataque! ¡Repito! ¡Abortamos! ¡Respetamos bandera blanca y nos replegamos! Actually, some of the companies uh, didn't realize uh, the importance of data science. We can see here uh, you have 70% of the organizations have few people and some work groups working uh, with data science, which is consistent with what we have here. Uh, most of the companies have less than 10 people working in data science. And in another perspective, we have 9% of the companies with more than 10, uh, 100 people working in data science. But still, 40%, zero. Uh, so there are some companies uh, that didn't uh, pay, any, uh, pay any attention to data science. And um, I think if they are competing with this one, I hope, hopefully not, uh, they will have some issues in the near future. So one, one of the things that, that I want to share with you is that um, more than a strong management sponsorship, uh, like we need in any type of relevant projects, uh, we need to have um, big Uh, involvement of the top management on the, 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 the data science project. This is really important to help with the questions, uh, to help with inputs, either internal or external data, um, and to help understanding the answers. Uh, the, this type of projects uh, requires a, a big involvement and big commitment uh, from the top management, and top management cannot be relieved of responsibility on this matter. So one of the things that we want to do as an association is to get data science as one of the main topics of this CEO's agenda. Because we need, we want, and uh, I think we will have new success stories to tell. Our mission is to, I already said that, in the morning uh, to empower data science for a better world. So we have been working as a catalyst to build bridges between our different stakeholders. With the academy and employers, uh, we need to um, get Generation Z and Y, and as well as requalifying uh, other professionals, because we need people in this uh, industry. Business leaders and data scientists, we need to um, get them involved and, and minimize that gap that I uh, mentioned uh, before. We are aware of the, 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 the power we can have and the, the benefits we can bring to uh, society, and so we want to promote and support projects with impact. We're, ha we're having some topics today uh, about ethics. We're going to present our code of ethics that each company can uh, adopt uh, later on in this event. And of course, we want to uh, promote our expertise abroad and we want to welcome others to come um, because, we, like I said, uh, the lack of talent, uh, it's something we're uh, having right now in, in, in Portugal and in Europe and actually in the whole world. So we live in a fantastic country, so I think we can, uh, we can attract them to come.